let us pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time that we can come together to worship you. And also, even though we go back online, Lord, we pray that you will help us continue to be faithful to your word of God. Lord, we pray the Holy Spirit will guide us as we see and look into the book of Acts as the, continue, the story continue. Lord, we pray, help us to know uh, as we want to seek out more uh, truth about Jesus Christ as we also see the work of the Holy Spirit in the early church. Help us as we sit in the family. Bless us, O oh Lord, and guide us through as all, uh, all of us as we put our attention and uh, our attentive ears to listen to your word. Speak to us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I didn't expect that I need to come back to do this pre-recording uh, sermon that soon. Huh? But here we are. We are back uh, in this period of lockdown that we need to worship online. All of us need to worship online. <laughs> so, but then the story continue. Yeah? Uh, the book of Acts. Like the last two weeks that we talked about um, as we started the story, we see the excitement of the Pentecost Sunday, then Peter uh, preaching, then the 3,000 conversion, and also the massive baptism, and also we see the life uh, as the early church started, where uh, people gather around. Uh, you, you, if you like I say, you know, if you put it into a movie, uh, surely there's a segment, but uh, one by one, you can't wait to go for another chapter. So here, chapter three. Chapter three is um, the chapter that we see the work of the Holy Spirit uh, as the disciple, as the apostle, especially Peter, um, uh, has started the work um, through all these signs, miracles. Uh, she has drawn the attention to the people, from the people, about the gospel. So with this title, make the world focus on the gospel, is absolutely important because we need to grab on their attention. Well, talk about attention, I'm not quite sure how you get people's attention. If I can remember uh, since baby until right now, how I get those attentions from people, how I make attention so people will pay attention to me. Well, baby, I don't think I need to make any attention. It's just automatic. Whenever I was there, uh, in anywhere, anytime, people just come to me. Oh, sayang me la, or just still squeeze on me. Oh, yeah, cute baby. I, I got all the attention of the world. Okay? But when I grow up in a kid, I think how I get the attention from my friends in the school uh, is my pencil case. <laughs> At you know, the moment, if I open my pencil case uh, with all the pencil and a different type of pen inside, a different type of pencil inside my pen, uh, my pencil case, wow, that would be very awesome. You know, during our time, we got all this gift from the Yasan Sabama. Uh, uh, we don't have a special pencil case. Everyone will, uh, just put all our, our pencil inside the, that, that, that box, no? Then it comes with the pencil one. So nothing, nothing different. Uh, but if I had, if the family afford to buy me a, a special pe pencil case, especially those cartoon one, uh, superhero, Ultraman, uh, Power Ranger, that kind of pencil case, well, definitely I will get attention from the uh, my friends. Okay? Then as I grow up, of course teenager time is to do crazy things and uh, try to be a hero. Uh -huh. uh, so to get attention, not, not really from the girl. Is from uh, my my peers, rather than boy or girl. Uh, but we, I will try to do any uh, things that crazy la uh, or whatever, eh, to make people pay attention on me, right? Then of course late, I remember that one occasion, one of my friends when we do cotton royums cleaning up uh, of the of my our classroom. One of the friends from another class uh, from here, you know, uh, the he 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 want to get the attention from people, right? As we sweep the floor uh, inside the classroom, he actually ran from the balcony. We are the second floor. He ran. He ran from the balcony 
from the from from this side to another side, from this side to the outside the window, you know, it's quite dangerous. But hey, he keep on running and keep on running, and I keep on running to get our attention uh, on him. Yeah, crazy lah. <laughs> uh, uh, then after twenties, I think during the twenties, we get attention by keep uh, by giving others attention. So I mean we will uh, create attention purposefully uh, in the target group. Uh, so that they know we our existence, uh, especially in the office or outside or uh, even uh, in the in the kedai kopi and, and so on. Eh? We we try I uh, we have tried to do so. Then eh? of course later on uh, thirty somehow um, the attention is not that much anymore. Eh? After got married, so the attention will be very much focused on the family. And uh, more narrow down, either from the family or my ministry, uh, so that that is the the life. I'm not quite sure for those of you that uh, get you know, uh, now to 60s, 70s. Why is the way for you to get attention from people? Obviously, now in the world, I think people try to create attention by asking people to like them. Eh? You know, those are Instagram la, Facebook la. Uh, TikTok la. Uh, sometimes I watch uh, the, even YouTube. I say what? I mean, sometimes they do very silly thing. Uh, uh, things that are uh, really doesn't make sense at all. Uh, like you know, uh, smashing their iPad la, or even giving up iPad for people la, or you not know, smashing their car. Uh, those are expensive car and um, waste all kind of food. And people are hungry, but then they waste all kind of food. Uh, so, so basically, just to get people to have view on them, <laughs> all right. So to get attention, eh? I, I wish I, I I can do that out eh? to get attention uh, during our this daily devotion, eh? Instead of just hundred over, ah, uh, if I do some probably you know, to smash the church when <laughs> uh, to do the devotion as a to smash the church when probably I'll get one million view. Uh, but but that that is the work, eh? that is the work. Definitely, as we want to make the focus, uh, for the world focus on the gospel, we want to grab the attention from the people. We don't need to do that. We must pay attention to what the Lord guided us, and also uh, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, so here in chapter three, you 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 find you you be able to see as. The church goes on spreading out the gospel. Um, no, from there, how they walk into the street. Apart from that, three thousand. I think that three thousand conversion, the baptism on the Pentecost Sunday, uh, definitely had got the attention from the people. Now, when Peter get into the wider, uh, like no, getting into the community, getting into the market, uh, to to really. Um, bring that gospel so people have so that have more people uh, to be able to know about what's happened on that day now it's a gospel now it's a good news so 3,000 people is not enough what next this is what we're going to look at in chapter 3 amen point number one hope in Jesus Christ so what happened then is an encounter between Peter and the beggar so in Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to verse 6, one day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer at 3 in the afternoon, which is a regular time. So it's not just because they follow Christ, they don't continue, they didn't, I mean, or they stop their practice as uh, Jews uh, to go up to pray. So at that time, about 3 in the afternoon, as usual, they go up to the temple for prayer. Now a man crippled from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple court. There's a lot of commentary or speculation about this gate. Most likely, this through this Beautiful gate, uh, no, no, the gate called Beautiful, not just the Beautiful gate. Um, a lot of people there, and uh, definitely people are uh, kind of had something or it might have uh, some wealthy people there. That's where the beggar 
uh, have the highest opportunity to beg or to receive help from people who are going there, especially uh, uh, people just going out for for the to the temple the, during the prayer time. It's not just once, probably a couple of times in the day. Uh, so as a usual, people will, will be sitting down there. A beggar will be sitting down there uh, to ask for help eh, to beg. So verse three, when he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Eh? He, he got the attention. Why? Because he taught Peter and John. It just like uh, it seemed like the others. People walk by. He just you know to reach out that attention, getting help from the worldview. He thought all oh, these people is going to help him. Now, verse four. Peter looked straight at him as did John. Then Peter said, "Look at us." Okay. Right? So. The man gave them his attention. Why? Uh, I think it's like, you now if you walk through the street, some beggar asks money from you. Basically, they just ask money, hoping one of us can give them some money. So the, the attention not really refocused. But here Peter said, hey, look at us. So this was say, you know, expecting to get something from them. So the wall, <laughs> uh, finally, there's someone who walked by, you know, uh, just like on the street right now, people walk by, don't really care on the beggar. So this Peter and John, you know, look at us, definitely this guy, oh yes, 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 there will be money, there will be help from this, uh, wow, these two guys here. And um, Peter say, <laughs> out of surprise, he say, silver and gold, I do not have. <laughs> so what are you going to give me? I, I'm hoping some silver and gold from you. But Peter get the real attentions to him. Silver and gold I do not have. But what I have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Yeah, so this is something that we want to bring the attentions to the people. Let people see the real hope in Jesus Christ. Silver and gold, yes, is important, but it's temporary. If silver can go and gold can help this guy, this beggar might have begged for some people have might have given him, gave him, giving him some, uh, but it doesn't really help him. He still he was still sitting down there and beg for more. This is what the world promised to us. It looks good, but it's just for a short term. We pursue career, we pursue money, we pursue education. Everything is good but it's not the best, mm. okay? So if we pay a wrong attention, we have a focus wrong in the, toward the gospel, but instead of you know, getting there, but we get into the wrong directions, focus on the world, what the world can get, it will be like a beggar, spiritually. Yeah, we always need to sit down and beg, but here, if we have the one from Jesus Christ, the real hope, the true hope, the eternal hope, the one that will last, the one that will truly meet the needs of the beggar. It does say in the name of Nazareth, Jesus the Nazareth, walk. And that is what he wants. Not silver and gold, not money. Okay? But he need to walk because that will help him to really continue the journey. Not begging all the time at the temple courts there. So this is what we want to bring to the people. What kind of hope the world provide, offer to the people, but definitely their non-hope, nothing in the world can compare the hope that in Jesus Christ. This is what we want to bring. If we want to get the attention of the people, let them know, let them know this eternal hope, the one that we can get in Jesus Christ. Okay, even we up to the point to perform this miracle, to exercise our faith in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. So here, why we need to do that? Because I believe when we sin against the Lord, even our ancestors will sin against the Lord, all of us are fall short of the glory of God. We need that hope because sinner cannot save sinner. 
the world cannot solve our problem, our sinful nature, but it's only through Christ. In Romans chapter 5, verse 15 to verse 17, But the gift is not like the trespass, for if the many died by the trespass of one man, how much more did God grace and the gift that came by the grace of the one man? Jesus Christ overflowed to the many. Again, the gift of God is not like the result of the man's sin. The judgment followed one sin and brought condemnation. But the gift followed many trespasses and brought justification. For if by the trespass of the one man, death reigned through that one man, how much more will those who receive God's abundant provisions of God grace and to of the gift of the righteousness reign in life through that one man, Jesus Christ. That is the condition of every sinner, including us. We were one sinner before, but only through Jesus Christ we are redeemed, restored, and now because of that hope, just like the beggar, we can really stand up and walk and solve our real problem. That is our sin. And that is what the world needs at this moment. That we, they, the world need the hope, the real hope in Jesus Christ. So, my brothers and sisters, uh, what do we provide to the world? <laughs> that is some effort that we need to pay uh, as we go out to reach out to lost soul and even people that are around us to speak hope, to speak this eternal, to offer not the silver and gold, but the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, First Peter chapter 3, verse 7. Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to His great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrections of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, keep kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, through now, thought now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the test, the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes, though it tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelations of Jesus Christ. Amen. If we put our hope in Christ, it will be tested, not like the gold. Okay? Uh, but hope that in Jesus Christ will last. That is the key. That is the one that we need to offer to the world. Not silver and gold. Like I say, let me repeat that again. But I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Walk. My brothers and sisters, what do we offer to the world? Are we really offer short-term solutions or we look at the really long-term uh, situation that we can only tell the world the only answer they need is Jesus Christ. Amen. So let us put this, let us walk around like Peter, even though we need to do our routine prayer hour but open our eyes pay attention to other people as we want to grab their attention to the gospel amen so let us all just really find ways even though now we cannot get out but we do some of us still get out eh? but reach out to them reach out to them speak about jesus christ share this salvation, this gospel, the good news to them. Let them see. And you will know there are some spiritual beggar out there asking for help to meet their sinful needs. Amen. Second, I want to share with you is that the actions from his people are amazing. 
Look at after, you no, know, when Peter asked him to walk in chapter 3, verse 7 to verse 8, taking him by the right hand, he helped him up. Let me repeat that. He helped him up. And instantly that man's feet and angels become strong, became strong. He jumped on his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. That miracles, that kind of signs, wonders, we are desire, we are hungry uh, to see more happen in our community uh, through us. But here, even though we know how to share the Word of God, but it's very important for us to know we need to be there. The actions from God's people, we need to be there to help them to get up. There's no point for us to just know the power of the name of Jesus that can heal people, but it will be better that we are there. As God and healing's power come, we are there to help that people to get up. Can you imagine in that situation, uh, if I was, if I were uh, 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 Peter, I would be very drilled. Okay? Yeah, I will be very uh, uh, full of praise, happy to see, not just because he can walk, but it will be more so of when I, because I was there. I was there to witness, I was there to be part of that healing. So today, if we want to bring the gospel out, to let people to focus on the gospel, we need to be part of that gospel sharing. We need to be part of that uh, 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 mission so that you know, we can be there to help that person to get out. That person at that time, that beggar, full of joy, uh, jumping you know, after all he cannot walk. That miracle, not just like slowly to get out, he jumped and he walked and he full of praise because I was uh, I can imagine that first time he can walk into the temple court by himself. Not quite sure before that, to the culture, whether he is allowed to go to the temple court or not. But now, as like normal, uh, from previously, which is not really uh, uh, permissible for him to get into the temple court, now he can walk in and jump in and praise in God. Amen. That, I would say, is worth for us to be part of that journey. So here, as we continue to look at Luke chapter 4, verse 16 to verse 19, as he went to Nazareth, he when he had been brought up, when, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as was his custom, and he stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it was written. It is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach the good news, to do to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom to the prisoner, recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Amazing. All this work here is to ask us to go. Eh? It has we we have been talking about receive the Holy Spirit and the Lord has anointed us just like He anointed Jesus Christ to ask us to we to go to do this to preach to bring healing to proclaim freedom to release the oppressed to no, to 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 recover the blind. Wow, amazing! Eh? All this is work. It's about work. It's an answer to go, to be part of it, to be the actions packed people of God. Right? So may I ask you to think about what kind of action, what kind of things that we can do right now, even though we are locked down at home. Think of the way that we can be part of that journey to be able to help that person to get up. Okay? So John chapter 14, verse 12 to verse 14, I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me 
will do what I have been doing. Say with me together, He will do even greater things than this. Uh, because I am going to the Father and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Jesus said, you will do even greater things than this. Amen. So we are asked to do so. So be part of this. We are the action people. <laughs> uh, our life should be there like Peter. Not just stay at the Pentecost. Not just, uh, not just satisfied and happy after 3,000 people get to know Christ. But walk into the street, make uh, attention, get attention, pay attention to people around us as they also want to get that attention to Christ. We need to direct them, the focus to the gospel. But we need to be there. It's no good for us to just talk about it. We need to be there and eh, to help them at this particular time. No question in a new uh, lockdown, do you have friends that have suffered financially or even they are in material need? Eh, it will be good for us, at least that little gesture as we bring not silver and gold, but the name of Jesus Christ to them. Let them focus on the gospel. Eh? Uh, you will be surprised that as God's power comes, even the land, the cripple will jump and walk and start praising God. That is a true uh, attention that we can bring to the people. Amen. So at the end, you can see in Acts chapter 3, verse 9 to verse 10, when all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. You get one attention, you get others' attention. We, as we, uh, we, we have heard uh, stories, testimonies of people how to get to the street and help the people. Uh, the world pay attention to them. Okay? Uh, even though sometimes we don't do much, but then that little gesture, like I say, it will bring the attention to the one that surrounds us. I remember the day, uh, of course, uh, I didn't really bring like helping the name in the name of Jesus like uh, Peter uh, because that beggar actually uh, sleeping in front of the supermarket uh, and people walk by no, nobody care about him actually so as I walk by I just drop some money to him I, I know uh, it, it just temporary but just little gestures to him because he was sleeping uh, it's pretty hard for me to wake him up and then to have physical contact uh, but then I just drop my, some money to him uh, you, know, you get the attention from the others people. Some people will be like, oh, wow, yeah. Some people will be very prejudiced to say, he don't give money and later he get use the money and go and buy cigarettes or buy gum. Huh? Uh, don't give money to him. Uh, so, yeah, but then I don't care because uh, I know that is what I can do at that time. I wish I can really help him uh, to really uh, uh, get him a job and so on to go further. But it, we can start somewhere in a small scale um, to the capacity and limitation that we have at this moment. But if you are willing, but if you are willing, you will see God will bring you and open the doors for you and to reach out to people and bring the name of Jesus Christ to them and get their attention at the same time if that person like the bank creeper was healed the people that surround will be full with wonder and, and amaze of what had happened. Amen. So may I ask you, brother and sister in Christ, to find opportunity. This is a year of reaching out 2.0. So we will continue to do so, to go down eh, like Peter and uh, John, as we open our eyes to see people around us, get their attention in the name of Jesus, help them to get up so that we can see life that is 
change and restore in the name of Jesus will also get attention from the people that surround us. Every one of us can be part of this action. Every one of us can be part of this hope sharing to share with the world that they need Jesus Christ. Amen. So let us pray and ask the Lord to help us, to ask the Holy Spirit to grant us that strength and also to direct us and guide us, open the doors for us as we continue to bring this uh, gospel into the world. Father, we thank you for the wonderful scripture as we look at what happened between Peter, the encounter between Peter and also the cripple. Lord, we pray that will be the same uh, journey, that will be the same uh, things that will, can happen into our life. Lord, help us, oh Lord, help us to find ways to really walk around to bring this focus to the people. They need Jesus Christ. Let the hope in Jesus Christ and helping us uh, to raise us up, to stir our spirit that we will be part of this action as we uh, will be there to help the person who get up and to be there to help the person and meet their needs. Lord, we commit ourselves into your hand. Bless us, O oh Lord, that you help us as we discuss how we're going to do it for the next few minutes yeah, in between either our family or in a group that our Lord we pray that our, you will help us to really apply and share and come up with a resolution how we can really bring the word of God as we apply it into our life we commit all this into your hand in Jesus name we pray Amen Amen